thinking about staying off-site for your next Disney vacation, but overwhelmed by the hundreds of hotel options, the first thing that you should decide to narrow things down is where you would like to stay. In this video, I will review resort areas around Orlando and share my favorite hotels in each. For more hotel reviews, Disney tips, and more, make sure to hit the bell below. Showcase suggestions. Where I share travel tips and lists of five to help make traveling with kids a little easier. My name is Christina and I'm the owner of Showcase the World Travel, a modern travel agency dedicated to helping busy moms navigate the overwhelming ins and outs of planning a Disney vacation. So the first area I want to talk about is Disney Springs. It may seem like it is a Disney owned area and it's not. It's right across the, the border, if you will, from Disney owned land and Disney Springs. All of the hotels in the Disney Springs area are good neighbor hotels, which gets some of the benefit of booking a Disney resort. Not all of them, but some of them. You can see the, the benefits in this video that I did here. My favorite in this area is the Hilton Orlando Lake Buena Vista because it has an amazing pool, a character breakfast on the weekends, and it is the closest to the walkway to Disney Springs. The next one is actually Disney owned. It's called Flamingo Crossing, and it's on the western edge of the resort, right outside the Disney entrance gate. They built it um, to be able to build housing for college program members, and there's shops and restaurants, as well as a bunch of suite style hotels. The suite styles are the, you know, Spring Hill, Town, town Place, Homewood, Home to Suites, and my favorite, Residence Inn. So if you have a larger family or you just want the extra space, and going with a villa on Disney properties a little bit out of your price range, I definitely recommend checking out Flamingo Crossing. It is a little bit further away than Disney Springs or uh, Bonnet Creek, which I'll talk about a little bit later. The third area is, I, is International Drive or iDrive. It's basically the artery that connects all of, Disney, all of Orlando's tourist attractions. And you'll see like other smaller attractions like Fun Spot, Point Orlando, Crayola Experience, but it basically connects Universal, Disney, and SeaWorld. My favorite there is the Sheraton Vistana, Vistana Villages. Again, the, that sweet style for larger families who may not be able to afford the, the villas on property. I also love Gaylord Palms. It's a destination in and of itself at Christmas time. Disney itself is 40 square miles and it's overwhelming on its own. Add in the greater Orlando area and you're going to need a vacation from vacation planning. That's why I created the five easy steps to a Disney vacation without overwhelm. Because we're going to break up International Drive, because just saying I drive isn't enough because it's so long. So I drive south is where you're going to have SeaWorld and those other places I mentioned. And then Universal uh, I drive north is where you're going to be have the Universal Resorts. I also like Castle, which is an autograph collection hotel. And then I did mention Bonnet Creek earlier. That is my favorite area to stay in. It's, de it's a development in the southeast corner of Walt Disney World. The land is not owned by Disney, but it's bordered on three sides by Disney-owned land. And it's closer to the parks than even Disney Springs. It's honestly closer to the parks than some of the Disney resorts. There's a Wyndham, a Hilton, and a Waldorf Astoria, so there is something for every budget there as well. So there are the five resorts areas in Greater Orlando that you may want to consider for your trip. You may also want to consider hiring a professional to help you plan. Download the 5 Easy Steps Guide. You can hit the subscribe button below and I will see you next week with more Disney tips. Thank you for watching and don't forget to take a break from the busy. Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.